Welcome back to The Breakfast. Uh, we now move into talking about things that happened today in history, the 24th of November. We're going back to 2017 for something uh, very, very um, important um, um, in history. But I'll, I'll take it back to the person that we are speaking about. He was born uh, a couple of days ago, actually, on the 22nd of November in 1986. His full name, Oscar Leonard uh, Carl Pistorius. Um, a South African Paralympic athlete, one of the most famous athletes in the world, um, whose career, of course, came to, came to an end in 2013 in a very, very sad incident. He was popularly called the Blade Runner. Uh, of course, um, had uh, his legs amputated when he was just 11 months old due to a congenital disorder. Um, all of this drama started after, of course, he had won about seven gold medals, four silver and one bronze medal competing in the Paralympic Games in different Olympics. Um, unfortunately for him, um, on, the 20, on the 14th of February, Valentine's Day in 2013, the world woke up to hear that his girlfriend for about three months, Riva Steenkamp, a famous South African supermodel, was dead. Uh, there was, of course, uh, numerous court cases. After that, the court case started in 2014. He was sentenced to five years in prison, um, was eventually set free a couple of uh, months later in 2015 and uh, set on the house arrest. But later, of course, with numerous appeals and um, hearings, um, his uh, court case or his uh, conviction of culpable homicide was overturned and Oscar Pistorius was then uh, found guilty of murder. So on this day in 2017, shortly um, after uh, uh, an original movie series was uh, created uh, with the title um, Oscar Pistorius Blade Runner Killer, uh, quite a caption, um, the South, Africans, uh, South Africa's Supreme Court of Appeal handed down a new sentence of 13 years and five months to uh, the now some would say disgraced um, uh, hero. Olympia. Um, and uh, upon delivering the verdict, the Supreme Court Justice at the time noted that uh, Pristorius uh, failed to explain in multiple court hearings why he fired the fatal shots and did not seem genuinely remorseful. Um, you might want to know that he is still behind bars because the drama, I, I followed it at fever pitch uh, then when it was unfolding. Um, he is still in custody, uh, but uh, the, the, the reports that we are getting now is that um, he has evolved. He's uh, somewhat a spiritual leader among uh, his uh, sect, uh, that's according to his family. Um, his sentence will officially end in 2030, uh, but um, he's up for parole in uh, 2023, uh, 20, uh, and there are people suggesting that he is most likely uh, to, to get uh, that. But it just um, kind of um, shows you that you really cannot tell what happens behind closed doors. People did not know that that relationship was in trouble. People till tomorrow will never know, never know the, truth. the reasons for that shot. Initially, I remember um, 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 vaguely him trying to say he never shot her. And then subsequently admitting that he thought um, she was a bugler uh, that had come uh, to, you know, bugle his home. Um, and then the stories just keep going. There's the two people that were there. One is dead and yeah. cannot defend herself. And the other, on um, this day, and that's why we're talking about it, on this day in 2017, it was handed a 13-year sentence. Uh, remember, um, Osage talked about the earlier sentence, which was vehemently opposed uh, by the prosecuting authority uh, in that country, that it was too lenient for the crime uh, that um, some says um, um, was intentional. It wasn't something yeah, that happened he, he by almost, accident. Unfortunately for him, couldn't prove that it wasn't intentional. It wasn't mm -hmm. premeditated. You know, there, there's so many things that just didn't add up. Um, if there was an intruder in your bathroom, um, what does the intruder go to the bathroom to do first? Go do How laundry did they pass or go take through your security? First? Those are some of the questions um, that was yeah. asked at and, that and time. And if he says Riva was right next to him when he reached for his gun, or he thought that she was right next to him, there's, there's almost, that makes absolutely no sense if you feel like you're in danger. The first person you call 
is the person who was right next to you. So um, it didn't just add up for him. Yeah, um, till today, it doesn't add up. But again, like I said earlier, uh, we can never know the true Truth. story uh, behind what happened and how uh, Stenkamp was killed in February for um, 2013, um, on the 14th, a day that was thing. supposed to be uh, Lover's Day. So um, I don't know if it is wise to mention that take everything you see that's presented, especially in the media and social media, when it comes to the blissful after um, in relationships with a pitch of salt. Don't think that yours is worse off. There are some people who are going through things you will never, you know, begin to fatum. But they come out and they smile and they give you pictures that you can't even begin uh, to imagine. May Hassel continue to rest in peace and we hope that um, he has found peace with uh, the events. And uh, on, on the flip side, to be human as well. I, I'm humane, rather. I think that's what I'm looking for. Um, there's every a possibility that it all was a mistake and a life just went off. There was a pos there is a possibility yeah, that this thing we that. call anger, because we are free to speculate at this point, because even with all the trial and uh, you know, exam cross-examination, we still do not know what happened. So uh, there are other angles you can look at it. Was and it's maybe a, a misunderstanding that went out of hand. You know, he took his time to tell stage you know, the story that he will tell, but he didn't fine-tune it properly until, you know... It was almost impossible to fine-tune a, a story like narrative. that, um, unfortunately. There's, there's absolutely no way that you can convince anyone that um, if there was an intruder in your house and you were sleeping yeah. next to someone that you don't first of the, all The stories don't the add up, even till doesn't, today. It doesn't and and if, you, if you fired, you know, the first shot, you should have heard River scream. Mm -hmm. um, so why, why do you fire four shots uh, at a yes. supposed intruder? Did you, why, why would an intruder go to your well, bathroom first? Um, first? Uh, there is also the school of thought that said he should have had a more life sentence. 30 years was too small. He would still have a life afterwards when the life of the lady um, that thought she was safe, you know. I think that's the worst kind of betrayal, to be honest, when you feel that, you know, this is the person you are safe with and then find out that you aren't safe at all. That, that's uh, one of the things that happened today in history. And a quick mention, like I promised, um, this day in, wait for it, not in the 18th century. It was just in 1995 uh, that uh, voters in Ireland narrowly ended a 70-year-old um, ban on divorce and uh, approved a constitutional amendment legalizing divorce and remarriage, the percentage for that vote, see that it's still a divided community, 50.23%. That means very there slim. is very slim, <laughs> that there is still a whole lot of people who believe that um, uh, divorce should not be part of our system. Some people just get married today and they divorce tomorrow. There is no sense of commitment. So when you see people that are against it, you tend to understand their reason. But again, well, the society has evolved so much that it's no longer, you can't die in a situation that's no longer mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, beneficial to either parties. The safe bet will move with your life. So I just thought that was um, um, important that I mentioned today for those who do not take you know, the liberties that they have seriously. And yeah, that's just basically it. We have more coming up Hello. on the breakfast. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.